Hey there, YouTube. It's your boy, D-Nasty I was bored at home and uh, decided I'm going to show y'all some of the, my, the videos of my Gimmick Puppet deck. It's uh, one of my favorite fun decks. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, it's only a couple cards away from coming out uh, in the TCG. And I know this will be uh, a deck that I'm going to like to play. Because all it does is really spam eight. So I'm going to show y'all maybe three or four quick games. Uh, where I walk you through some of the plays that I made. Uh, there's a lot of different builds that I've tried, like Cyber Valley, Machine Dude, and Dark Control with Dark Arm, and uh, Machina's. And I like the Machina version more because it makes the deck a little bit more consistent. Um, it runs the Silent, the Swordsman level eight. It's really good. Uh, it's like a Sakura Red to Gorge. That's the best way I could describe it. But I'll just show you all the deck in motion. Uh, uh, this could be the first game because I feel like this deck was. I thought he was trying to copy me, but apparently not. Because he had Medosis with a uh, shitload of back row. But he didn't run any stun cards, so. You see, I just passed turn because uh, I drew this card that's really good, in my opinion. That makes you want to pass turn, just hoping that they attack or something to there. Like a bear or, or a, a Bruzian or a Thunder King. As long as it's not a uh, basically a Drago sack, it's a good draw. It's a good way to pass turn. I get salty because he raises me. I'll just go ahead and go for the attack. It's a good bait out. I don't know why he didn't just summon the Magdalene. I guess he didn't want to take any damage. I'd have been the shit out of him if he just summoned it. He think maybe he wouldn't be drawn so terribly. I don't know why he's summoned Messenger Lotto. What was his reason for that? If he'd have just sent Messenger Lotto, I would have attacked it. And he'd have got a search for free, but now that he summoned it, I don't know what he was thinking, honestly. I guess I've just been playing Madotex too long. He got apparently not that good. And then he searches for another Messenger Lotto. I guess he's banking on drawing the kitty. Yeah, he's he's wasting turns, and I'm just doing nothing but gaining advantage. I know how the deck plays, and I know there's only two Madolches that has answers to gear to 1800, and uh, I'm pretty sure he's not playing them. This has been the perfect time to go for a second uh, of some gelato, but I Valor his uh, Magellan. Right now I'm hoping to draw something to get rid of that ticket because that's the only thing that's keeping him in the game. He should have lost a long time ago, honestly. So now he finally draws his combo pieces where a pudding test would be great. So I'm Valor his first message gelato. And I'm gonna Valor his uh, Bogart and that's gonna be it. Or invoke or whatever. But I don't know. He quits right here. He could have easily activated Palooza just to stay in the game. And I'd have had trouble, but I guess he didn't want to. So we're going to stay. Another game that I had that was pretty good was uh, versus Bougian. This is going to be very popular later in the year. I'll do it from his standpoint this time. I don't know why he wouldn't just summon a turtle with the crane. Like, you, when you watch these plays, you see how bass and bass people are. And they wonder why they lose, you know? Now there's a crane that he can't activate. He 
he did the right play there. I guess he's something he's gonna take a shitload of damage. You can see the machine, dude. This is the older version that has Cyber Valleys. That was clutch. Too bad he missed the wrong back row. I just judgment. And then Bear just rams and it's basically the game. Look glad I enjoy any type of good monster right there. Anything would have been better than nothing. Because you know he can't win. You can't blame him for something. He, he has such a terrible opening move. Let's see. Uh, another game. I had this game just today. I was talking mad shit to this guy. Because he was supposed to win, but he lost. It was the most sackiest deck I ever played. Like, I was obviously outplaying him, and he was still staying in the game. Go for that good old Maxi. I figured he's playing Dark Rose right here. <laughs> that was a good card to go for, honestly. It made me commit a lot more of my resources that I wanted to. I'm gonna force the 8th place so I can get rid of that, even though I do have answers right here. So I guess I did overcommit, but I forced out a, the, the compulse, so I don't really mind that much. And I have food for days for my level 8. So right here, I'm waiting for this guy to get rid of this car, because I know my egghead is going to stay alive. And go for the broken leg eight. Oh no. I go for heaven schemes. I'll cut the game and cover it. I can't believe he didn't dark home me now that I'm looking. I guess he wanted me to commit more. I'm glad that I didn't. I was definitely thought about it. He dark holes me right here. Some of his tour guy, I Valor it. And now some of my level 8. Just to uh, force out some more cards. Of course, I have summon destroy him. And he just passed the ends of the gameplay because he knows it's over. I don't know. I really like the deck. It's just, uh, I don't know. Sometimes it gets really inconsistent. Alright guys, and the last thing I wanted to show you was the deck. There's not nothing too spectacular. It's just spectacular, spectacular. <laughs> uh, Ebonics. But um, I haven't even made a side deck for it yet, because you don't really side a lot on deck for us. It's a lot of game ones, usually. Um, I've taken BLS in and out, but I decided to leave it in just because I'm only running a total of five lights for it. But they're five light hand traps, so they're pretty easy to drop for the BLS. What's the eight? Uh, I'm running one gear frame with one fortress. I was running cannon. That way I could dump off these Magna dolls or these uh, dreary dolls. But I'm uh, not running cannon anymore. I'd rather just use fortress instead of just playing an eight for no reason, even though I do love how this deck spams eights. I'm running a uh, one call. I'm probably gonna bump up the two pretty soon. It's really good with Barbaros and Fortress and uh, the Exceeds that I go for with these guys. Um, that's is really good because you can destroy it with special summon two given puppets from your hand. Uh, plus it's a dark for BLS and it's two thousand uh, a two thousand wall. It's like this deck was made to beat everything that isn't dragons. 
as far as I'm concerned. And whenever I do, uh, hopefully when the list comes out, maybe they'll be slowed down enough where you can actually compete with them. Like, with Skill Drain, it helps me compete with them because uh, all I do is drop 3,000 guys and, you know, they'd have to keep exceeding. The only, the only beef you want to have is Redox and Barbaros, but you know, it's not really up for discussion. Uh, you can't really iron wall them, so you probably have to, like, run emptiness or something. And plus you have like your maxis and your veilers. You just have to watch out for inconsistencies. Trade in is so free in this deck. I run, I don't know how many level eights. Uh, I think it's 10. You run 10 level eights, so trade in's never dead. Sometimes you could test a uh, advanced draw. I can go and pull that up. Where you tribute an eight and you get to draw two cards. I don't know why it didn't come up. It's probably advanced. Yeah, here it is. You tribute two after you draw two cards. I used it with this a lot in the first build because this is almost like a tree born frog. Especially if you have more gimmick puppets than this. But um, I, the, the opportunity just hasn't came up where I decided I'd take it out. Because you don't be able to tribute Barbaros. I've tested this deck with a Gaga -ga Magician before. I've done a lot of things. I just wanted to show you how the build overall. Uh, the Eradicators are so free because all you do is drop 3,000 darks and the return is kind of a game winning card I'm testing it out save zones godlike skill drain is so good because the game of really don't need any field effects the only field effect in this deck is BLS and gear frame um I mean egghead doesn't even really count so this is a free monster reborn I literally just took it out by accident that's pretty cool <laughs> let me put it back in jump pop it I'm thinking about taking it out and putting it in like a Call of the Haunted, but I also like the fact that it's a spell. And I can use it to bring back my uh, 3000 Heaven Strings. That's the main exceed you're going to go for, these. And uh, Felgrand. This card comes out in Shadow Spectres, it is very good. Um, it's a quick effect where you can detach and target a face up monster on the field once per turn. And that monster's effects negated, but it's also unaffected by every other card effect for the turn. Uh, that alone is really, really good. It's a light. I've won games just summoning this card because it's like free negations. The same thing for uh, Heaven Strings. These are the main two cards I'd summon. I only go Coast Trainer uh, when I have a really broken hand or if I'm trolling. Like, Toby's just a generic four. Destiny Leo I've used against Burn and Exodia when they try to stall me out. Or even Final Countdown. I've used Destiny Leo to win the game. Uh, before they can beat me. <laughs> uh, Franken. This card's a 4,500 uh, wall. Uh, it needs two darks to summon it. Uh, and, and gimmick puppets is very easy. Especially if you're more committed to gimmick puppets. Right now the only way I can summon Franken is by using two Magna Dolls. Or, uh, let me see. Yeah, two Magna Dolls. But, I'm just, it's just in there just to be in there because it's so big. It's also a quick effect that's pretty decent, but... I also I added these uh, synchro just because um, I'm probably gonna take out the formula and add in a uh, uh, that level three that just came out that Miss Bird. I'm probably gonna do it right now just so I don't forget Miss Bird, Miss Bird, Colossus because I have a formula. Cause this was in there when I was running the Cyber Valley, but I'm not running Valley right now. Uh, that's basically the deck. This card's really good when you have Veilers. Uh, this gives you another pl play. Uh, I've won games with this card too. Uh, I'm thinking about one time I'm going to make a dark deck where I test out level leaders. I think that'd be fun too. Where I can start spending sevens. But um, for now, that's all. The, I just wanted to show you how the deck overall. Uh, this is Dina Sakuribo, and I'm out.